hey hello everyone welcome back to a channel and today i am going to give you a six step guide to start and finish your comp so as you can see i have this comp setup here which is uh, from the peter i already mentioned it in in many times in my tutorial so you can grab a uh, display and all the asset he provided so as you can see this is the script i uh, set up for this tutorial and the first step always have to do is to analyze your uh, shots first so just uh, see the plate and how it behaving and how the motion is and how things are going in the plate this is the most important thing you need to analyze your uh, footage first what is going on in the footage what is the requirement of this shot and how you going to achieve this thing all these things you need to consider always just play your shot and see the entire shot what is going on for example as you can see in this footage uh, we have this lady let me play and you will see okay so as you can see this shot is uh, fairly static i think peter added some 2d uh, movement i mean 2d camera movement but that's fine overall as you can see this is a very uh, slow motion shot first thing and as you can see the motion is she is looking somewhere the actual thing is the kid is running uh, left to right if you saw the final one you will see this is uh, the final comp of this shot as you can see the the reaction of uh, this lady and this is the action as you can see and the entire plate is fairly static there is not much going on i mean tree is not moving that much i mean the there is no wind and anything so this is fairly static shot nothing much going on so first always analyze your shot and see what is going on in the shot and how things are behaving and everything this will help you to understand your shot then you can do your further steps uh, according to the requirement of the shot so in this shot uh, what peter give us and what peter have in the final output he replacing the sky okay the sky and he added a buildings here which we have and we also need to add uh, and we also need to add a cloth here which they are hanging here then the final final step you need to add the running kit so the second step is always check your assets so you got your plate and see what what you have i mean the roto the background plate and the cg uh, to comp on your shot you always have to look into it so let's see the peter give us this much of assets so if i zoom in you will see what we have first thing we have uh, this plate as you can see this is the actual plate we have and he also give us this uh, the reference plate which give you the basic comp idea so the main thing is we thing is we need to add the running kit so as you can see he basically did a slap comp so if i play here you will see see this kit is running so this is a slap comp so uh, you will understand the, the timing and all that as you can see when when you need to uh, when this kid is walk uh, bypass from here to here she is going to look to him so as you can see and let's see what else we have so obviously we have a cg cloth see as, as you can see one thing i noticed everything is uh, not camera track i mean he added a uh, motion here so we need to do a match move also so that is uh, we need to consider as well because uh, these things are static so this cg this is the uh, layer for the kid as you can see i see he's running here to here what else we have we have this sky as you can see this is the 8k lat long sky we have so we can use this and this is the city we need to use so if you play this one as you can see it's it's orbiting basically as you can see you can see the perspective is shifting so we can use this one also this is your drone shot and you also give us one more sky image 360 as you can see so you can choose which one you want to use so in my case i'm using this one because this one is sitting very well according to the shot as you can see this is the shot we have so if i go down as you can see we have all the range here and the light source is coming here because you can see the shadow in this direction always check your assets okay and and then we need to basically start the comp so when you start your comp always check you need to do a comp so in this case as you can see uh, first thing i need to do a sky replacement and then the cloth one and then the running kit why I like that because uh, when you when you're doing your comp always comp in depth what i mean by that uh, always uh, i mean assume you are stacking a layer so the background will come first okay and then the cloth one and then the kid one so think as a layer so this is the first layer 
this one is the second layer and the kid is third layer okay so that will be very easy if you do like this like the kid one here and the background is second and this this one is third you will face a lot of problems in your script so always always when you comping any shot comp in a depth which layer is very far from the camera okay that you need to comp so comp that layer first understand what i am talking about and uh, connected with the with this layering option and the next step is uh, always make your script vertical so as you can see i have this if you check any of my script i am doing a vertical script like this it's have very uh, it's have its own advantage and nuke also telling you to do a vertical script because if you if you search any node like great and transform anything you will see you have input in above and output in the down nuke is telling you to do a vertical uh, script not this way you don't have output like this if you do vertical script and you doing a proper uh, layering comping like i like i tell you in the depth comp like the background to foreground you need to move like background to foreground comp so in this one i replace the sky first because i am comping from background to foreground so so my sky layer is coming first and then the cloth one here this is the cloth layer and this is the kid layer so the kid layer will be the last one so keep in mind that so that's so this will give you a very it this will give you a very flexible script anyone can understand what you are doing and how things are going and when you uh, blending and merging each layer uh, together you will also understand uh, it it is going to help you and as you can see so i replace the sky here and then i added the cloth as you can see this cg cloth okay and then i added this kid layer which i basically turn off because he uh, because i need to do a roto so this is the idea see this is the third layer and then in the end i added a lens flare now uh, this is looking very good as you can see now and then in the grain uh, we need to do a further step so in this one i added need to add a grain and uh, as you can see so this is the steps and the next step is we need to add a lens effect or a camera artifacts in this one i'm just added a lens flare but you can also add a chromatic aberration so which i added in the background also because we check the plate if i zoom in as you can see we already have a chromatic aberration on a plate so as you can see everywhere we can see especially on the edges on the see you need to add that in your uh, comp also so as you can see I already added uh, in my sky setup as you can see this this chromatic so I'm gonna copy this one okay and if, if I view this one here so as you can see I added a chromatic aberration and the same thing we need to add to this cloth also so if I go here and pasted this AP chroma now you will see we are getting a chromatic aberration here also see now they are looking very good but I think the color is wrong as you can see we need we need blue this side and this on this side so what we can do we can make this one and flip this one yeah like like that so as you can see so this is the idea that's how you need to add a chromatic aberration see i'm added a chromatic aberration also here so these are the lens effects basically so you need to add like a camera lens flare and the main thing is lens distortion uh, but in this footage we don't have a lens distortion provided so always when you're doing a comp always add a lens distortion in the end of your a pipe or what you can do you can uh, undistort your plate basically this plate you can do undistort here and in the end you can add your lens distortion that is also possible but these are the steps and in the final make sure you always need to add a grain this is the grain setup here see i'm going on the top i will show you what i mean see uh, I, this is the plate and i did a denoise here and this denoise i'm using here so if i compare this denoise to this plate you will see i removed a grain here also and also on this kid uh, this kid layer i remove a grain as you can see and after removing what i did here i i made a made a channel here this first shuffle is t noise plate and this second shuffle is four plate if you don't know about the channels i have a dedicated video about the channel systems so i created some channels here and if i view here i mean this pre comp uh, you will see i have this t noise plate and we have this noise plate which we can use in the end using uh, dark green this one 
56 i rendered a single frame so i'm putting this one here and what i can do i can add a one shuffle here and basically i'm, I'm going to extract my passes here the layer which i created so in this one first thing let's go to the denoise plate and the second one is my plate so as you can see i added this one here also so let's connect plate uh, to plate and let's connect denoise plate to denoise plate okay and this is my final comp i'm going to analyze this one okay so as you can see i added a grain let's check the grain let's zoom in a bit and see this is the grain one and this is the plate as you can see they are looking identical so this is without grain this is with grain okay so as you can see we are successfully added a regraining process on this one so these are the steps you need to con you need to remember when you're doing a comp the most important thing is uh, check your assets check your plate and always uh, do a depth comping always uh, do a layer comping uh, just imagine a layer by layer the background will go first and come to the foreground slowly comp your short background to foreground basically okay just see if anything is in the background to comp just form this first and come here come here come here come here come here slowly that way your script will build like this your your background will come here and your foreground will come in the last top to bottom you need to comp any shot when you comping so these are the uh, six steps you need to remember i hope you learned something uh, this is just a guide so if you want this script i will provide you this script in my patreon you can download from there i'm not gonna show you uh, how i comp this shot so you can check that uh, check my script and if you if you want to know how i comp this please let me know i will try to make another video where i am going to explain you uh, the steps how you can comp the any shot peter he is sharing a lot of good uh, practice shots so where you can download and you can easily make your reel which is which is very good so go and check that out and please let me know any suggestion or tutorial request thank you for watching and we will see you in our next one have a great day